working on a solar panel install and wanted to punch through this roof and wanted something to protect the cables. So I've decided to use these uh, Here's what that install looks like from above. You can see I've got my panels markered out. I've used some off the shelf acetone to clean everything. We're gonna attach this with some VHB tape and then that's our inline fuse. And just got a tape measure. I've gone 12 inches from this edge and in. So I'll show you what that looks like when we get it all set up. Now we're just going to bring the wire down through these and just fish it all the way down in so we can deal with it once we get back inside the trailer. And if you look, I've already threaded it right into this piece as well. It's going to be a little bit of a rat's nest for a minute, but you have to make sure to thread everything all the way through. So this is what it looks like after I've gotten everything um, all put together, I'll loosen those a little bit. You can see, that way this metal is not gonna cut into that. We'll have to put some weight on there to get it to seal down. And, you know, just tightening these even up a little bit makes it get closer and closer. So, everything's tight, and it's technically watertight at the moment, but we don't wanna leave that floating in the wind. Now you can see I've got my positives and negatives, and I've got a 10 amp fuse here. So I'll end up getting this installed. It's just an inline fuse, and it'll go right here on the positive side. And then the panel will be hooked up um, to the cable. But before I actually get it all hooked up, I'll probably end up zip tying something out here so that these don't get, you know, tucked under. There'll be a little bit of cable management. That's easy to figure out. But the next step really is to get this panel um, glued down to the ceiling with this VHB tape. So it takes a minute for this very high bond tape, the VHB tape to bond. But now you can see I can't, I can't even pull it off there. So that's pretty interesting. Took it about 20, 30 seconds to do that. And it's double sided. So once this goes down, you have to be ready. When it goes down, it's going down. So after cleaning everything really good with acetone and putting that VHB tape on, look at how strong this is. I can't, it'll, it'll rip a bolt of metal before that's ever coming off of there. That stuff, this stuff is impressive. 3M VHB tape. It took a minute to activate, but boy, once it, I pulled the, you know the cover off the piece I put it on all the feet first and right when I folded it over you would not want to not hit your lines you would be in deep trouble it's never coming off so make sure if you use this stuff and you go to put something on you better have it exactly where you want it and by the way even though it looks like I missed my line I actually scooted my lines back on everything so I didn't miss my lines anyways um, there you have it this bad boy's ready for the freeway. So now I'm in the process of putting some 221 around the brackets and everything just to keep the VHB tape from getting UV exposure. And then I'm going to zip tight down. I notice that there's temperature readings on zip ties. Most people don't notice that. You need to get stuff indoor outdoor rated so it has UV protection or within a year stuff like this could just go brittle and crack and break. Okay, so there's the finished job. I've put uh, a Sika Flex around all the brackets and everything. Everything's super tight, not coming off. I've had an extra zip tie up here just to keep these positioned here where the fuse is readily accessible. And uh, we'll just let everything cure and set up now. And this thing's ready to go down the freeway.